So real quickly, I wanted to give you a close-up example of a drop frame setup. This is a Cardinal Estate by Forest River. This is one of their higher end units. And what I want to show you here is where the main frame is right under here and where the secondary frame drops down right here. Because it has a drop frame design, the storage compartment in this unit is going to be huge massive storage area because the frame doesn't protrude up into this area it's dropped below here which gives you a completely flat storage area let's go underneath so i can show you so you can see the frame section right here and then you can see where it ends and it's welded to the main frame section that runs the length of the coach and that's what your drop frame is and the only real purpose of having a drop frame design is because it gives you a larger front storage area. It simply drops the frame below it so it doesn't impede on that space. It doesn't necessarily add to any other benefit for the RV. It's not going to give you any more strength. It's not going to give you anything else. And possibly in some cases it could even reduce the strength simply because you're adding another area that the frame is going to want to kind of torque against. And that's going to be the weld point between the drop frame here and the main frame that runs all the way back. Plus it has to pick back up and even run higher to go to the overhang. Also something that's very interesting to note about the new Cardinals is that you can get an upgraded tire option. And that upgraded tire option includes the Saloon S637s, which are the same tires that I put on my Chaparral. And just for those of you who didn't believe the last video I showed of the tires, you can see how the tire is designed to have this rib effect. It looks closed. Some people think the tire looks like it's bald already, but no, it is a very, 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 very beefy tire. So we're back here at Colonia Del Rey RV. One thing that's really cool to know is that the new Columbus is now finally offered with a drop frame design. Before they kind of mimicked their Columbus Compass series, which is a little bit lower in series, with the solid straight frame. Guys, this is one of my very favorite floor plans. This is a mid-bunk unit, and we are actually looking at a version of this, but in the Columbus line, and there are some reasons for that. But I want to walk you through this unit because I absolutely love this floor plan. And this is going to be the Columbus Compass Series, the 378 MBC. This is their mid-bunk. This unit does have the Moride step above system with the Columbus wording cut out through there. I love this floor plan and I think you'll see why. So this is a mid-bunk floor plan. And we actually really considered getting one of these coaches but the problem at the time is they didn't have it in the color scheme we were looking for but we almost got one of these instead of our chaparral and you'll see why basically what they've added to this mid bunk is on the other side of this wall you get the full outside kitchen on the inside it is just really well designed and laid out you get a really nice couch the nice thing about the columbus series is that they are wide body design so they are eight foot five inches wide versus a standard eight foot wide RVs that you typically see. We don't really like the two chairs like this. We prefer the theater seating right here. So one of the reasons why we didn't opt for this unit is the one that they had didn't have theater seating. But you have either the Lazy Boy recliners or you can get the theater seating. This is a full profile coach, which means it has very tall ceilings to it. It's gonna have a very nice height to it. Kitchen area. Very large island, a lot of countertop space, full-size residential refrigerator. Here's the mid-bunk room. Might be a little dark. A lot of cabinetry in here, place for a TV. This bed in the bottom folds out to a queen-size bed, and then it has a bunk directly above it, which is really nice. The bunk can fold up if you want to block the window or if you need the extra headspace. Has a really nice entry system here to the door where the door kind of folds in on itself. It has a hinge at the top, which allows it not to take up much room when you're closing it. Definitely want to make sure that door is closed when you are pulling in your slides, though. Has a nice pantry right here. I like that they put a little niche right here. This would be good for a coffee maker or just something small that you need to plug in get power to or even just a spot to put your cell phones, your keys, and things like that. Another nice feature of the Columbus is that 
you can get it with the Whisper Quiet AC system. They put a lot of little touches on these Columbuses that I really like, such as this nice wording up here, Columbus, on this steel backer plate, stainless steel, which is overlaid on top of this really nice finished uh, laminated area. It looks really nice. Here's your control box, as well as a really deep storage area. The storage area is probably close to a foot and a half deep, about a foot wide. Nice spot. Going up the wooden steps. Got your stairs taking you to the loft area. Has a very nice loft. It's probably about 20 inches tall and it's about the size of a queen size bed. On this side, you're gonna have your cable TV, power jacks, and of course your skylight above it. Going into your master bedroom, king size bed has a mirror on the back of this sliding door, which is really nice. You generally don't get a mirror there, so they include those little touches. Again, whisper quiet AC unit in the bedroom, as well as TV connections, power cable, satellite. Nice large window. I really like how they do the dresser at the end. They give you areas right here for space, as well as some really nice fully extendable drawers. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. So if you look at how much floor space you have here, you have a solid three and a half feet of floor space. And because this is a full profile unit, you get a very nice height to the ceiling. So the ceiling itself is probably right around 6'4". A lot of space above the bed as well. You probably have a solid four feet of space between the mattress and the bed. So not really any chance of you banging your head there. And I really like how they do these little nightstands on the end. I know it's hard to see. But these nightstands look really good and they don't go out over the bed like a lot of them do. They extend off of the end of the slide, which gives you a lot of practical space. Now, what's really cool is the size of this closet. So the closet doors open. You can crawl completely inside of here. It is a massive closet. They put so much storage in these Columbuses. It's, it's pretty amazing. And this is a Compass series. So this is more of the budget oriented version of the Columbus line. Again, huge closet. A lot of storage space. You could put either a combination washer and dryer or even a stackable unit in here. And again, just a really, really good size master bedroom in this unit. Moving on to the bathroom, a good size bathroom. So one of the nice things about the Columbus series is that you get a full five foot long shower. So you have a lot of space. It is a residential size shower. It is simply massive. A lot of headroom as well. On this side, you get your storage, your area for towels and things like that. And this space right here is cut out specifically for the staircase, which takes you up to the loft. That's why you have this little notch here. Extra room for towels will be right underneath the sink. Nice large area. This area right here looks small on the camera, but it's actually a pretty good size area. It's probably about seven inches of extra space right there. Plus, they give you a really, really large medicine cabinet. So it actually extends back here about six inches. So you have quite a bit of space. You could put towels in here. That's how large of an area it is. Again, I really like the Columbus lineup and the Compass, which is the lower end version of the Columbus units are very nice as well. A lot of really nice trim. There's so much attention to detail on these units. It really is a good value for what you spend on a fifth wheel, even if you're going with their Compass series. Now this unit has an MSRP of 80252 sale price 58953 This one's going to have a lot of upgrades, especially with the dual whisper quiet AC units, the residential refrigerator, as well as some of the exterior amenities. So some of the upgrades on this unit is the king size bed, the Serta mattress, the Max Air Vents, the MCD Night Roller Shades, that's really nice. Basically blackout shades, which black the unit out in the daytime so it's not super bright, so, so the sun's not pouring in. Six-point auto leveling system is an upgrade on this. Metal wrapped awning, has two metal wrapped awnings. This one has the optional Lazy Boy recliners as well in place of the theater seating. So on the outside, this unit does have the keyless entry door locking system. Also, taking a look at the sticker here, it has a 3,000 pound cargo rating. It's 
pretty good amount. It's not a toy hauler. So one thing that's really nice about these units is that you can use this to actually control so much of the information on the vehicle. You can monitor your tanks, you can deploy your awnings. It gives you a lot of flexibility to control the system from a touchscreen keypad. One thing that's really nice about the Columbus lineup is that they all have that nice high gloss exterior gel coat as well, where some of them have a matted finish. This is more of that high gloss finish, it looks really nice. So this unit does have an outside kitchen, microwave, refrigerator, your propane lines, as well as a cooktop. So you have the ability to actually cook a meal out here. It's pretty nice. A lot of the mid bunks never had an outside kitchen simply because of the floor plan in the rear living room. It didn't give you space. But what you're seeing is a lot of them are swapping the sofa to the other side. So you have the ability to use your entertainment system on the other side of this wall, recess it in slightly and have an outside kitchen, which is really nice. And then on this Columbus Compass, you can see that it also has full LED lighting, which is really nice. Again, you get a lot for your money with the Compass series. This is a really, really nice coach. I'm glad to see that Columbus moved away from the straight frame design on the Columbus line simply because you want that extra storage space on a higher end unit and now they finally offer it. On the Compass series, it's still the straight frame and it's actually the exact same frame that was on last year's version of the Columbus. It is a 10 inch I-beam frame. This one does have the level up auto leveling system on it guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll bring you some more information soon